I'm Eva Garner with SpinShell.TV. Japan rests precariously on an intersection of tectonic plates, and so earthquakes are a fact of life here. Following on from a series of earthquakes in the Tokai region in the 1970s, the government has predicted that a major quake in this region is inevitable. It's just a matter of when. It has been estimated that if a quake hit in the morning in the Tokai area, which is about 100 miles southwest of Tokyo, it could result in a death toll of up to 9,000 people. A staggering number compared to the Kobe quake in 1995, which killed roughly 6,400. The fact remains here that an earthquake could hit in Japan anytime, anywhere, so being aware and prepared is a must. A visit to the Ikebukuro Bonsai Con will teach you earthquake survival tactics as well as allow you to experience an earthquake firsthand. The free training session also includes a smoke maze and what steps you should take in case of a fire. On the fourth floor, they sell a range of products that should be a part of your home earthquake kit. Items like non-perishable food, water, sneakers, a helmet, sanitation supplies, a radio, batteries and a flashlight are essential and you should include a list of emergency phone numbers and some stress busters as well. Familiarizing yourself with your local temporary gathering site and evacuation area is also important. This may be signposted outside your local train station and at the actual site, which is normally a large open space like a park. You can also contact your ward office. If the big one does happen, Japan's new earthquake warning system, which launched October 1st, will give the public anywhere between a 10 to 30 second warning before a major tremor occurs. The downside is that initially it will only be broadcast through NHK on their TV and radio channels. However, mobile phone companies have the ability to transmit the warning as well. To let loved ones know you're okay after things have settled down, you can use NTT's voice message board. In the case of an emergency, by dialing 171, you can leave and retrieve a message. A full explanation of the service can be found on the NTT East website. A little research and planning can go a long way when it comes to earthquakes. If you haven't already, it's time to get prepared. If you live in Tokyo and would like to visit the Ikebukuro Bonsai Con or learn about other excursions around the city, check out our city guide at www.spinshell.tv. We have over 150 hand-picked recommendations on things you can do in Tokyo. If you have any great story ideas, write us at report at spinshell.tv. I'm Eva Gardner. Thanks for watching.